Good day everyone! I am Clarice Ramen and I'm going to demonstrate bed making in an occupied bed. So before we start, let's sanitize first. So these are the linens that you are going to use in bed making. First is the bedspread. Because bago tayo magumpisa, papaitan mo natin yung bedspread ng pasyente bago tayo pumunta dun sa mga bottom sheet. So after the bedspread, of course, the bottom sheet, the rubber sheet, the draw sheet, the top sheet, the bedspread, and lastly, the pillowcase of the patient. So let's start. Good morning, ma'am. I am Nurse Clarice, and I will be your nurse for the day. What's your name, ma'am? Liana Kirai. Ma'am Liana, how are you feeling today? Alis lang po. Nakaw na po kayo, ma'am? 18 po. So, ma'am Liana, papaitan ko po yung mga linens ng bed nyo po. Is it okay for you? Alis lang. So, ma'am, habang ginagawa po yung procedure, if you feel uncomfortable or nahihiya po kayo, just call my attention. So first, ma'am, papalitan ko muna yung bedspread nyo po. So papalitan muna natin yung bedspread ng patient. And if conscious yung patient, Just let her or let him na hawakan yung bedspread. And we'll use fan folding to provide privacy for the patient. So we need to provide the privacy. So this is now the soil linens, and dapat yung nagamit ng linens ay hindi ma bibigat sa yung uniform. Dalagin natin siya sa hamper sa laundry basket. Because it's already dirty. So the next one is to train natin yung patient. In the sideline position, at dito natin ang umpisahan. So ma'am, titurin ko po kayo at the other side of the bed. Titurin ko po kayo ma'am. Ito lang po. And, natin yung paan natin. And then, and, kailangan hindi nakikita yung part ng katawan nila dito. Just to provide them privacy. So, tingin lang. And pag may railings, kailangan natin itaas yung railings para hindi makulog yung patient. So, since malawag naman yung kama, but if there's a railings, pwede naman. So, the first thing, isa pagdalin natin yung mga linens at the other side. So, the first is yung Top sheet, top ang galing natin. And we will move the linens right side in. We will find all the microorganisms. Sunod yung draw sheet. natin. And lastly, yung bottom sheet. So, pag binatagal natin yung mga linens sa ating mattress, dapat, you must avoid bumping. Or yung 
magalaw or yung parang malakas yung malakas malakas na igalaw natin yung mattress kasi pag malakas na igagalaw natin yung mattress baka mahilo na yung patient natin so yan so if the mattress is dirty uh, dapat gawin natin yung sa ay dusting and pag yung may body fluids naman na present doon sa kama ng patient, we must use gloves. So, since wala naman at malinis naman, mag-proceed na tayo sa next procedure. But, let's sanitize again. So, first, yung bottom sheet, tapalitan natin. And, bottom sheet, so, dapat yung yung lower hem, o una dun sa baba. So, ganyan. So, ito yung wider hem. And, okay lang na kahit yung sa may ulo mahaba. Kasi, pag i-move natin yung patient in a fowler's position, para hindi makarampol yung linen. So, ganyan. The bottom sheet is dry or any of the linens ay any of the linens are wet. Ilalagay lang natin siya. Ilalagay lang natin siya sa tabi. But since the bottom sheet or the other linens are dry, ilalagay natin siya under. Ilalagay natin siya under. Next one is the rubber sheet, but this is disposable one. Minsan ang gamit lang. So, ganyan. And roll natin siya. And lastly, yung door sheet. Lalagay muna natin yung tatlo to save time and energy. So, habang nilalagay natin yung mga linen sa mga sa patient natin, syempre, huwag din natin kakalimutan na kausapin yung patient kasi natin alam po na nangyayari sa kanila. Mama, are you okay po? Yes, I'm okay. Kasi, natin alam, hindi na po nagsasalita yung patient natin, baka may nangyayari na. So, dapat, parang hindi natin sila one of the time. So, it's very important na while changing the, the linens of the patient, dapat it must be wrinkled free. Kasi if na-wrinkled yung mga yung mga linens ng patient natin, doon na buumpisa yung bed sore. So, ganyan. Dapat pulido. So, tapos na natin yung other side of the bed. Nalagyan na natin yung bottom sheet, the rubber sheet, and the draw sheet. So, papatuloy din naman natin yung patient para mapalitan din yung kabila. Hi, ma'am. How are you po? Ayos lang. So, tapos ko na po yung other side of the bed. Other side po ng bed nyo. Titurin ko lang po rin kayo the other side din po para mapalitan din po ito. Hindi po. So, isa pa yung position po muna tayo. Ayan, 
plus one of half plus Pertama And then Plus Kailangan pa natin Protektahan yung likod ng patient Because it's also their privacy So as you can see Ito yung Gitna ng bed Magdabili na natin siyang tanggal So So yung isa natin Tanggalin natin yung top sheet. Natin siyang i-roll. At avoid funny. Kasi madumi nito siya. Hindi yung mga microorganism. And in, in Tagalog, huwag natin ipagpan. So, lagi ulit natin siya dito. Yung door sheet, tanggalin din natin. Iulit natin sa hamper. And lastly, yung bottom sheet. So, again, pag tinatanggal yung bottom sheet, huwag natin kalug-kalagin yung mattress kasi may possibility na yung patient natin magiging uncomfortable or mahilo. Ginag natin yung, ano, yung bottom sheet. So, yung mga nilagay natin sa hamper, hindi natin pwede gamitin. Kasi madumi na. So, or, masalit tayo sulit tayo. Ang susunod na is yung bottom sheet. So, we must dapat guyo natin siya gently but gentle and din cold free dapat yung higaan ng patient so yan close lang natin ito and form a triangle So, next is the rubber sheet. So, yung rubber sheet, nilagyan natin sa gitna. But it depends upon the case ng patient, nilagyan natin yung rubber sheet. Sa ulo niya, if nagawa ng surgery sa ulo. Sa, sa rinbad ng gitna naman, if she's having an LBM, and pag nag-opera naman sa sa may bandang lower extremities ng patient, nilagay natin yung rubber sheet sa baba. So, nilagay ko sa gitna. Next is the draw sheet. As I have said a while ago, we must build natin yung linens gently And dapat, hindi na re-wrinkled yung, yung mga linens na nilalagay natin. So, yan tapos 
natin nilagay yung bottom sheet, yung rubber sheet, and yung draw sheet. So, let's sanitize again kasi lalagay na, lalagay na natin yung top sheet ng pasyente. So, next na lalagay natin is yung top sheet. So, yung top sheet, as I have said then, yung wider hem, mas magiging taas, and yung lower hem na lagay doon sa baba. Papaitan natin yung top sheet ng pasyente. So, the top sheet is folded right side out. So, ganyan lang siya. Paright natin. Again, avoid funding the linens. Mama, okay lang po ba kayo? Ipapagawin natin yung ano? Pagawin natin yung top sheet ng fashion. So, lagay din natin sa hamper. na ilalagay natin is yung bedspread. So, yung bedspread, it is after the top sheet. It will just, lalagay lang natin siya cause para malagay, para mag-provide ng, para maging comfortable yung patient natin or to provide warm for the patient. So, kanina din, the wider hem ang mauuna. So, lagi, magiging center fold. So, as you can see, ang center fold is andito. So, troubleshooting. Choose lang natin siyang ganyan. And, huwag natin siyang ipapagpag. So, ganyan lang natin. ang nasa gitna or yung yun yung dapat nasa patient. So, nagawa tayo ng toe pleat para hindi mahulog yung paanong pasyente o hindi magkaroon ng food drop. And yan, if ilock lang natin siya. And so you can see, 
we will leave this hanging para makamove ng makamove ng makamove yung patient freely. So yung other side then, itatak din natin siya. Uunin dito. Then, form a triangle. Then, ganyan. So, on the other side then, So, ililive din natin, so on the other side then, ililive din, ililive din natin itong hanging, which I've said a while ago, para makamove yung patient. So, as you can see, the top sheet is longer than the bedspread. So, what we do not have to do. fold lang natin siyang ganyan. So, how are you feeling, ma'am? So, tapos na natin nalagay yung bottom sheet, yung rubber, yung rubber sheet, yung draw sheet, the top sheet, and the bedspread. So, ang last time natin pabalitan is yung, of course, yung pillow ng patient. So, ma'am, pabalitan ko yung pillow mo. And, pagpapalitan natin yung pillow, Dapat malayo sa malayo sa malayo sa iyo or dapat hindi na didikit sa uniform mo. Lagay din natin siya sa hamper. Then, the pillow case. So, it depends sa iyo kung paano mo siya hawakan. Pero pag hinawakan mo yung edges ng pillow case, tapat as edge ka din ng pillow. Pag yung kamay mo sa nasa, yung kamay mo sa nasa gitna ng pillow case, talagay mo din yung kamay mo sa may gitna. So, yung kamay ko is as edge. Ganyan lang. So, dapat hindi natin ipapagpag yung or gagalong-ganon yung yung unan. So, dapat yun lang para to so, confine the microorganisms. Kasi yung pillow is madumi. So, yung pillow case natin, it fits in the pillow. And dapat yung opening ng yung opening ng pillow is opposite the door. So, yung door natin nandyan. So, yung pillow natin dapat nakaharap na pagano'n. So, so dapat dapat hinab, pag hinawakan din natin yung ulo ng patient, dapat hindi pa gano'n. Kasi you're letting the patient smell you. Dapat ganito. Yun lang. Tapos okay. tayo. Mag-disinfect lang tayo. Ang magaling nakakalimutan to sanitize before and after touching the patient. So, I'm done changing all the all of your linens, ma'am. So, how are you feeling po? I slumped po. So, you can sleep na po. Or makapagpangin na po. 